I'm here at Scrimisi Academy in the town of Saint Hyacinthe. Now this is a medieval martial arts academy where they teach people how to fight just like in the Middle Ages, except without the whole catching the bubonic plague thing. I'm not much of a fighter. I prefer disarming my opponents with my various weapons of mass seduction. <laughs> but today I'm going to see if I have what it takes to fight with real swords, master the art of medieval combat, and try to beat the best fighter in the entire academy. So I'm here with Alexandre. And so Alexandre, you are the creator, the owner then yeah. of Scrimisi Academy. Exactly. How did you create this? It's a really niche sport. So we didn't have many people doing it. So I decided that if I wanted to be actually good in fencing, I needed opponents. Mm. So the way I went with it is starting to give classes to actually train people to beat me. You were just essentially too good for everyone. You were really looking to try and gouge someone's eye out with a sword. <laughs> that was kind of the intention for you. Yeah, that I was the driving be, factor. I wanted there. to be able to do that at least. Yes, yes. <laughs> Maybe Which not is a normal it. thing to want. I yeah. mean, you know, let's be honest with each other. Um, <laughs> how many people do you have buried in your backyard? I don't talk about that. Okay, great. Um, I'm not coming out of this place alive. And so this is what I'm going to be fighting with today then. Yeah, yeah right? it's, okay. a, it's one of the two examples you'll have. These are weapon simulators that are made to be as safe as possible while as realistic as possible. So if you take this one, it's okay. actually the real weight and balance of a real sword. Well, I and actually already am uh, familiar with, uh, with long swords. I do happen to be in the uh, possession of one already, if you uh, see what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Does the length of the sword play some sort of part in determining the qualities of the, the owner of the sword? In the medieval period, you had swords uh, tall like this, for example. And tall as that? You had swords, yeah, you, you had were, swords that were taller than the, their users. If you don't mind me asking, what's the, what's the point? I mean, this is, this is pretty big. No, uh, that's actually quite a short one. This is pretty short. It, it could be average sized. No. As you see here, I lack a few inches. But a couple Real... inches make a difference. Yeah. I mean, trust me, I, uh, I know that. <laughs> but here, we believe a lot in the concept of, the, uh, of never taking as granted that your opponent is dead because you hit him. So, for right. example, if we fight and I strike you to the face, I still have to survive three seconds of you trying to kill me. If you hit me after I hit you, we both lose. Mm -hmm. I may have to hit you twice. Or well, at least le you don't. You could just once is okay. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> I prefer just once. I might do a little stretching before, if you don't mind, just to kind of limber up my legs a little bit. I am an athletic uh, phenomenon, but you know, I have my limits. When I train, I like to uh, I like to put on a little bit of music in the background, a little bit of warm-up music, kind of get me in the mood, get me relaxed, right? Oh, baby, when you talk like that, you make a woman go mad and be wise and keep on. Reading the signs of my body. Oh, only one of my hips don't die. It's uh, an old Iberian ballad. Mine hips shall not bear false witness by this Moorish girl who goes by the name of Shay of Kira. I'm warm. I'm ready to go. Is this outfit good enough for what we're doing today? Anything that will, you'll be comfortable wearing to practice will be good. I think I need to pull my socks up just a little bit higher. That's actually good because when oh, you I've heard the women love this. From my experience, you're you're right. I'll I'll trust your word on it. You seem like a uh, a very well versed man. <laughs> like how does this not attract the most beautiful women? To be able to have your first parrying, the real thing is to learn how to actually parry or block attacks. Swords, just quickly a reminder, am I holding them like, do I hold this like this then? Is that how I do <laughs> it? You, 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 like that? If you're right-handed, your right, right hand will like be this. Okay. close to the, the guard. I think this is a pretty good, this is a pretty good... No, um, you'll really want them in your hands. Like this is a pretty good move like that. Yeah. We, we, we'll try it later if okay. you want. I'm just I'm trying to give you a couple tips to kind of up your game. <laughs> Here, I can actually keep the point of parry and strike you anyway. Oh my gosh, that was scary there. He almost split my head in half. The position you'll be in first is what we call a high guard. Shall we be with a cross guard over our shoulder or even over our head? That's your two. You're telling me this is a defensive position? Yes, because here, if I want to strike you, okay. I just drop my weapon. So if you're, for example, there, there's no way that you'll protect yourself in time and I'll just strike your head first. So you want to be really close. So then if I strike, you're, you just have to lift your sword a little by keeping there and, uh, and just block you're you. Sick. Yeah. I mean, you just look like kind of an idiot like this when you're walking around as opposed to down here. Now this is yeah. cool. I'm but cool. This I'm a cool guy. That and you're dead. So generally you're cool and dead. Depends on Well, your... I'll take that. Uh-oh. Oh no, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, 
and I just go like that right there. And then after, when it comes this way, I just give a little kiss like. <laughs> but now that this basic has been done with the long sword, we'll do it with the short sword. You'll see how similar it is. But I was just getting to know it. And this is approximately your guard. Again, a very, very emasculating pose over here. Hey y'all, I'm sword fighting here. Let's go, let's do it. Because right now all I've been doing is defending. I have not attacked you. Yeah. And at some point I'm going to have to. I life. won't kill myself for you. So you'll have to do a little of the really? job. Really? You wouldn't even do that for me? Nah, sorry. Get I thought we had a special connection here at Exxon. <laughs> right? If I want to get your leg, you have to Lean give in. Give you my head. I'm giving it to you. In English, when you say that you give someone head, it is kind of a different connotation. No, oh, nice, um, yeah. Brent, it's still a really good strength. time for you that someone gives you head because you actually have an easier time to win. Yes. So you don't have much effort to do. It's okay. the other one doing it all for you. But let's just be clear. That's not what you're implying here. This is a, a very, this is a defensive. It's absolutely a defensive maneuver, yeah. Okay, we're talking about sword fighting right now. Yeah, absolutely. Good, just to be clear. I mean, it's almost kind of like Ballet, don't you think? You're kind of doing a little bit of... At some point, you want to be real really that. fleet with your foot. Okay. So now we'll practice it with the long sword again. Yes. Because it's Back to the, the long sword. St- All right. Yeah. What if I just kind of stay <laughs> like this? Because I'm, I'm yeah, just going to be but here. You'll actually be easy to just hit behind your, leg, your head and you won't be able to quite efficiently parry with your crossbow. Fair point. Oh. Yes. Yes, I'm getting so, the hang of it, guys. You're going to be a real warrior. Finally, I can beat my older brother. <laughs> At least you'll be able to parry their strikes. Play his video games now. That's right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play the video games now. By okay. the way, he had the wrong foot forward, so we'll start it all again. So, so we'll do the same exercise, but now we can truly hit the face of the other. The issue is, is when people wear these masks, they can't make out with each other afterwards. Nope. And that's kind of, that's a shame, don't you think? if we get locked like this and you push against me, and then I'll try to enter with something. I mean, this is training right now. This is training. I bet you've never seen this move before. Ah, shit. You are too oh, far. I got him. Did you get that on camera? All right, so that was the training done. Uh, and now I am going to graduate officially. Yeah. Now you'll be a real fighter. So this jacket is uh, graded to be able to do steel long swords. I need something like this for when I take the subway, so I can just barge my way through the door. Yeah, actually, yeah. And just, if, if you've mm, done Muay Thai with mm, those those uh, helmet mm. protectors, that would be good. A zip here, and it's like when you were in kindergarten, and Daddy helps you with your vest. Yay! So that's it for that. They call me such a wicked wizard. Oh, oh good. Oh shit. Oh, three seconds though, so. Is the prime example of why it's not a good idea. Yes, you got me. But you were able to get me back in the head. Yeah. Newcomers in fencing will do a lot of suicide all the time. Why? Because they work. The only point I've gotten so far, I just killed myself. If I want to beat you, I need to have four cleans. And if you want to win, you need one. So that means I strike you and you don't strike me back. I salute you, Saya. I said Chadwick of the Infinite Riz and avenge my father's death. Does that count as a... Yeah, it's okay. a stab to the hands. Ah! Oh. No. This little joint takes me like that. I need to. Ah! I still fell for it. Four. You need to win this one. Oh shit! <sighs> Close enough though. No. Oh. Oh. I have fallen. <laughs> the Chadwick never dies. Oh. Wait, so one, two, three, three people, four people um, guys, want to face me. So I get to choose my opponent here. We have three, four contenders? Four. Four contenders as well who wish to absolutely destroy me here today. Uh, who out of you is the best fighter? All right, so I'm not going to go with you. Uh, what we'll do is uh, fight five clean fights. Uh, after five cleans, the person that has the most win. Yeah, what was your name? Edward. Nice to meet you. A little awkward handshake there. There you go. I just like present my ass to you and you just 
do whatever you want to me? Or is that not? No? Oh, I mistook it, I mistook it. Oh. That's a double. Oh. Stay with this. One more. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Last game. It all comes to this. Well, Fine. What was your name? Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, sir. Yeah, so, uh, just leave your guard down, and then let me get like, let me get let me get a little point. You want me to leave my guard down? What's up? Leave your guard down. And let me get a little point for me, okay? All right. Oh, that's a fancy salute. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh, head. Uh, uh. Oh, okay. I think I'm dead now. Like the, the little uh, sparkles here. See, you're kind of a fruity fighter. A zesty one. Okay, that was easy. Oh. Uh. Okay. And do you have a background in uh, in mixed martial arts or not? Nope, not at all. Okay, so it shouldn't be too hard for me. Is what you're saying? Should be okay. Should be okay. Well, we'll see after the fight. Ah, uh, it's one already. Oh. Uh, even though I, I got destroyed. Verdict. What, uh, what did you think of my performance there, Alexon? What does Sir Chadwick of the Infinite Riz, what can he learn from this experience? Yes. But honestly, you had good parries with your cross guard. So Thank you. actually what you learned tonight, you used it. I did. I felt like, you know, I missed out on a lot in terms of the offensive part. Maybe the offensive part was lacking. Yeah, because I but, didn't show a lot. I showed right. you how to survive getting hit and then do your worst striking. So, in layman terms, I got uh, destroyed, basically. Yeah. Uh, in like words, most students will, will have the, their first free sparring time. Yeah, I think I lost 70% of my, the water in my body is just evaporated. I trashed your fencing while you were- well, Right. Being at the you know, I thought you were a very like, at first when I approached you, I thought you were a very kind of paternal figure yeah. almost, a very yeah, wise just, instructor. I'm just a hard patriarch. So I'll say your guard sucks. Get better. Slowly like we did. Because I am a pretty, I'm an aggressive man. You know, I might hurt you. That's you sure okay. you want me to do this? Yeah. <laughs> okay, he, he called for it, guys. Oh, don't, I don't really know what that was. <laughs> ah. Oh, crap. <laughs> Is everything good? 